Today, I'm going to show you how to multiply three digit numbers using an abacus and the crisscross method. Okay, so the first step to doing the crisscross method is to multiply your far right digits by each other. So my far right digits are 4 and 3. So 4 times 3 equals 12. So because I'm dealing with my first digit past on the left side of my decimal point, I'm going to do 12. So a 10 here and 2 here. Okay. For your next digit, okay, you multiply your bottom right digit by your top middle digit and your bottom middle digit by your top right digit. So that is 4 times 3 and 3 times 2. Okay, so 4 times 3 is 12 again. So because we're talking about our second digit now, we put our 10 here and our 2 here. Then we multiply our 2 and 3, which gives us 6. So 1 and 5 is 6. Okay. Our third digit is done by multiplying your bottom right by your top left your top right by your bottom left and your two middle ones. So that gives us 3 times 5, 9 times 4, and 3 times 2. So 3 times 5 is 15. So we're at our third digit from our decimal point. Okay. So 3 times 5 is 15. So a 10 here, and then because it's a 5, we're going to go ahead and pull down a heavenly bead. Okay. Then our next multiplication is 9 times 4, which is 36. So we need 3 over here, and then we need another 6 here. Okay, so 5 and 6. Well, we have 10 up here in our heavenly beads. We need to move that over, carry that over to here, okay? Now we have five down here. Oh, we need to consolidate those to a heavenly bead. There we go. Then we have two times three, our middle digits. Okay, we're still on our third one. So that's six, so we pull down a five. And, a, and one, that's six. Then, for our fourth digit over from our decimal point, we are going to multiply the bottom center by the top left, and the bottom left by the top center. So that is nine times two, and five times three. So nine times two, we're four digits over again from our decimal point. Okay, so nine times two is 18. So here's our 10 and our three and five is 18 or eight, right? And our 10. Well, we have 10 up here again. We need to move it over. Then we have five times three, which is 15. So a 10 and a 5. Okay. Then for our last digit, five places over from the decimal point, we are going to multiply our top left by our bottom left. So that is 9 times 5, which is 45. So here's our decimal point again, and we're five places over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 40. It's going to go here, and then 5 is going to go here. So make sure that we don't need to move 
and carry anything over, we're good. So our final answer is four, eight, 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 nine, two. So here's our comma. So 488,892 is the answer to 524 times 933. Thank you for your time.